Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create an index of entries or topics for formal papers or long documents. This process is similar to creating a table of contents. First, mark the subjects or topics to reference in the index. Then, compile the index in much the same way that you created the table of contents. You can create multiple sub-entries and even cross-reference as entries in your index. Start by clicking the References tab in the ribbon. In the References tab, you use the buttons that are available in the Index button group. First, you must learn how to mark text or a range of pages for inclusion in the index. To include a word or phrase, select the word or phrase to include from the text and then click the Mark Entry button in the Index button group. That will open the Mark Index Entry dialog box. If you select a text from your document, it will appear in the Main Entry text box. If you do not select any text, then type the entry to make into the Main Entry text box. In the Sub-Entry text box, you can enter an index entry that falls under the more general index entry above if needed. To create a third level entry, type the sub-entry into the sub-entry text box, followed by a colon symbol, followed by a third level entry index. In the Options section, you can choose how to present the index entry. To create a cross-reference, choose that option, and then enter the text for the cross-referenced index after the word C in this text box. To make a straightforward index entry, select the Current Page option. To format the page numbering used for a normal index entry, click either or both the bold or italic checkboxes in the Page Number Format section. At that point, to mark only the currently selected text as an indexed entry, click the Mark button. To mark all occurrences of the selected text within the whole document, select the Mark All button instead. This will insert the index entry field or fields into the selected location or locations in the document. Notice that this dialog box will remain open after marking the text so that you can continue marking index entries without having to close and reopen the dialog box repeatedly. To make a multi-page index reference, the process is a bit different. First, select the range of text to include as a multi-page reference. Then click the bookmark button in the links button group on the insert tab. This will open up the bookmark dialog box. A bookmark is a reference to a section of text. In the bookmark name text box, type a name for the bookmark. The name cannot contain spaces but may contain letters and numbers. Then click the Add button to add the bookmark to the list shown in this dialog box. Next, click into the document at the end of the text that you just set the bookmark. Click the Mark Entry button in the Index button group. Set the index entry for the marked text as normal. However, this time, click the Page Range button in the Options section and then select the name of the bookmark that you just created from the drop-down. Make any other settings and then click the Mark button to mark the page range entry. After marking the index entries for inclusion, click into your document at the position where you want to insert the index. Then click the Insert Index button in the Index button group. This will open up the Index dialog box. Here you can set the appearance of the index that will be created. In the Print Preview section at the top of the box, you will see a preview of how the index would appear when printed. To the right of the preview, you will see the type options, either indented or run in, and you should select the style you prefer. Below that, enter the number of columns you want the index to display. 
Below the preview, you can check the Write Align Page Numbers checkbox. This will right align the page numbers in your index if desired. If you choose to right align the page numbers, then select the type of leader to use from the Tab section dropdown. You can select a different format to use for your index by choosing a different selection from the Formats dropdown. Once you have made your formatting selections in the Index dialog box, click the OK button at the bottom of the box to insert the index into your document. The index in Word, just like the table of contents, is actually a field. Like all fields, you can toggle the display of the field code between the index's contents and its field display by clicking into the index and then pressing the Shift plus F9 on your keyboard to toggle the view back and forth. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.